So last week we did the pluses, but today it's the iPhone 6s versus the iPhone 7 versus the iPhone 8 iOS 11.2.5. Let's go. So what is up guys, iPhone 6s versus iPhone 7 versus iPhone 8 iOS 11.2.5 speed test we did the pluses last week let's begin with the boot up test kicking it off with the iphone 6s i am going to speed through the stopwatch so we don't have to sit here all day but the iphone 6s boots up at right around 27.59 seconds making it pretty fast for being an older smartphone i like to see when old smartphones still remain powerful throughout the years the iphone 7 next up actually shocked me just a little bit reason being is because this device actually booted up slower than its predecessor which was the iphone 6s at 29.6 70. Now, the iPhone 8 with its A11 CPU should be the fastest here on the table, and I think it will win here. And we're going to go ahead and boot it up right now. I do have the Space Gray Edition, and we could see here that the iPhone 8 actually wins very easily against both of those devices at 18.36. And I should mention that the power button is very sensitive on all the newer iPhones, making it feel even faster. Now, confirming here iOS 11.2.5, 15D60 on all the devices, so you know that I am not kidding with you here and I do have all the same applications lined up on each of these small boys right here you can see every app is the same we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna run through the speed test with each again with the iPhone 6s Apple a9 CPU 2 gigabytes of RAM speeding it up you can see that the iPhone 6s actually performs very well here on 11.2.5 much better than the earlier editions and it finishes at 38.47 when it comes to the initial speed test with all the applications coming out of no RAM just everything was closed so pretty good timing there now what about the rose gold iPhone 7 right here you can see that capacitive home button and this thing just super flies as well I think it's gonna be a little bit faster than the iPhone 6s was at 34.89 so about four seconds faster here on all the applications which could make a difference on the day-to-day -day in terms of the speed now here's the real beast the a11 cpu the space gray iphone 8 what can it do can it really take down both of these phones by a huge margin well let's see well it finishes with 28.53 so significantly faster than both the iphone 6s and the iphone 7 on this latest edition of 11.2.5 so iphone 8 users rest assured you got great performance here now what i want to do is go ahead and run through each device on the multitasking now i'm gonna not do it so fast here you can kind of see if there's any reloads and there was a little bit of a reload on the camera for the 6s and youtube kind of reloaded but i think youtube does that on all iphones when you go back into it, it's kind of refreshing the content so great stuff here when it comes to multitasking or at least keeping the applications held in the background for the iphone 6s but what about the 7 can it perform equally as well and actually it was even more fluid than the iphone 6s so iphone 7 is a really strong phone so if you still want to get an iphone 7 it's really recommended from me to get one of those here at this current point of the as of the filming of this video and you can see no issues there same thing youtube had to reload the content as it does with all iphones and here we go on the iphone 8 can it do any better and you can see it's just a little bit quicker on the animations than the prior phones so the iphone 8 is a screamer of a little device and probably my favorite when it comes to performance here now let's go ahead and open up the nick ackerman channel.com website and see how fast it loads you can see iphone 8 iphone 7 right down the line but the iphone 7 was having some issues loading this website this is not indicative of the real performance but you can see they all loaded the website extremely fast so browsing is great on all of these going on to apple.com here let's see which one can load this website first and you can see a about the same on all but the 8 was just a little bit faster so yes the newest iphone as it should be is a noticeable difference when it comes to speed now if you have an iphone 7 and you got an iphone 8 you probably wouldn't notice it too much on the day-to-day -day. but here on 11.5 2.5 it's good to report that all of these are running much better than the earlier editions now i want to go ahead and run antutu benchmark here on all of them i'll skip through this and we'll see the final scores here's where the iphone 8 and that newer processor should 
just destroy the iPhone 6s in the 7 because it has MacBook level performance. But going through Antutu, you can see that it wasn't too far ahead when it comes to the percentage, but towards the end, it did round out the final round first over all these devices and right down the line you can see that the iphone 6s and the iphone 7 were very similar when it comes to these scores but the iphone 8 just whoa just like 10,000 points more than all of these devices so that's pretty much it the iphone 6s versus the iphone 7 versus the iphone 8 ios 11.2.5 but in conclusion the iphone 6s to me was really the impressive phone here even though it wasn't the fastest it was really close to both of those devices throughout these tests so it's a pretty good value still which i always like to help out with is getting you the best value but the 8 was crushing it the 7 did great how has your experience been on 11.2.5 if you enjoyed this thumbs up i'll catch you all in the next episode be sure to be well i'm out peace